cyberspace has got certain driving forces the factors that influence or drive the cyberspace are the time space anonymity asymmetry and finally efficiency the advantages of cyberspace include informational resources entertainment and social networking because today it is a source of information any requirement or any required information on any specific topic at any point of time is available and entertainment and social networking are the two uses which has led to the growth of this level today and so cyberspace has become an in important or important segment of our life if you look at the shortcomings or the disadvantages they are due to this great medium of connectivity as it leads to some unwanted activities like spamming theft of information threats etc we are going to see about all these challenges definitely in this course on cyber security therefore cyberspace provides a platform for all the criminal activities as well hence i can say security is a major challenge internet is an interconnected network it comprises a large number of worldwide computers connected in a network to facilitate the communication and data exchange if you look at the technical definitions provided by various resources from webster online dictionary the definition is internet makes use of the tcp ip protocol suit for data transmission and exchange let me here focus another definition for our understanding that's axford's dictionary it says a wide variety of information and other communication related facilities in an interconnected network form standardized using communication protocols provided by universal computer so axford expands internet this way so what we can understand is internet provides a technical platform for communication and actions through well defined standards of operations first of all internet links smaller and larger networks of computers servers and other devices that exist within the scope of the internet whereas cyberspace is a symbolic and figurative space that exists within the internet and supports a multitude of business government and social interactions through information exchange if you look at the nature of cyberspace cyberspace derives more from the decisions made at a cognitive level rather than through the operations of physical systems whereas the design of the internet results in a cyberspace that is built out of components and provides services designed to form more complex services in other words data exchange in cyberspace can be in any form like text audio video and image whereas internet is a 50 year old technology starting with the military applications today it is used as a tool widely by the academicians and researchers and even business organizations to exchange data easily internet simplified the operations of the organization by killing the distance therefore the term cyberspace and the term internet they vary in terms of their meaning definition as well as operations cyber security refers to the actions which are taken in order to prevent the computer systems or the internet from unauthorized access or against attacks this is how webster online dictionary defines cybersecurity as 
If you look at Wikipedia, it says cyber security also refers to the measures taken against data theft or protect the computer systems from damages such as hardware, software or information as well as from interruption or deception of various computer services. Here I would like to give two important definitions of cyber security which will make the learners to understand clearly what cyber security is. The first definition, cyber security is a technology framework that consists of various procedures and operations intended to defend networks, computers, programs and data from outbreak, damage or illegal access. Another technical definition I can bring here is cyber security involves a wide range of practices in protecting the integrity of networks, programs and data from various attacks, harm or an intended access. The importance of cyber security and how that can be justified through various means. We are going to look at from different perceptions. First of all, there are certain points brought forth for consideration. They are the user's assets are protected against various cyber security risks and remain intact. This is our priority. The importance of ensuring protection from attacks, damages and unauthorized access or networks, that's very important. Third, helping to understand the current trends in information technology and one has to develop some effective solutions. Next, reducing the vulnerability in the information and communication technology scenarios, systems and networks.